Now this is the Ogolu headquarters in uh, Ubeakuku. Now where we are is the channel that uh, River Dada passes through. Now because of the construction work that is going on in the area, right from the King's Palace to Jubilee to 77, all the water there have been diverted into River Dada. And that water passes through Sabo into this area. Now, this area you see is Unube. And uh, as you can see, as we are going through now, it is very, very dry. Very, very dry. But when the rain starts, it brings a lot of havoc. It has extended the waterways it has also before it used to pass through that area but it has dropped sand to that area and it has come to this area now you can see these broken fences you can see the broken fences now you can see these broken walls so it is and you can see how it is eating deep very soon many houses here will be a thing of the past. Uh, the uh, river has by itself blocked its own natural route, diverted, and now you can see how it is eating this place. Now, all this place, I'm showing you this place, was before an oil palm plantation. You can see how it has eaten it. And uh, very soon, these houses that you are seeing here will become a thing of the past. This level that you are seeing, the water normally gets beyond this level that you are seeing and floods this area because all the water in the Kare has been made to pass through uh, this area. So, if you see here, the water will hit this place and meander before it will come back here and then starts its journey. But normally, if it had been going straight from there, it will just go through that area. And so, there is a need for government to quickly do something about this. And what we think can be done is that, first of all, if there's a channelization to straighten the part of the water, if the, uh, the, the water, the amount of water that is being channelized from a career into this area can also uh, be reduced. Sometimes when there's rain in a career and there's no rain in this area, this place will also be flooded with water. And in many, on many occasions, those three people that are resident in this area have to leave, have to leave their houses for a very long period of time before the water will uh, abate. Uh, the people in this community have, on their own, done several things in order to help themselves to try and overcome this challenge but as you have seen it this is another Ogunpa in the making this is another Ogunpa in the making you see all those places i'm showing you now the water gets to that those areas it climbs and gets to that area whenever there is a rain now it looks very dry nobody will believe that such a problem exists here during the dry season but once the rainy season comes it is very very hazardous and it is very very calamitous and that is why we are calling on the federal government the state government the, the local government have been here and We've had promises, promises over the years. Uh, 
but the promises have not really materialized. For example, where we get to now, if only this water, this channel, can be done so that the water can move straight instead of meandering, then the force of the water that causes the flooding of these areas will have been reduced. But once the water comes, it hits this place, which you can see right in front of me. It hits this place and then erodes the land and then meanders again, meanders. So if this water can be made to go just straight to link up with the bridge, the Boropa bridge there, then it will have been easier. Now it meanders around this area and goes like this. And then it goes ahead and then tries to hit this place again. You can see self-effort, how uh, uh, several millions of Naira was used to raise up a countervailing wall, but yet it is still at risk. You see bamboos planted, but still it keeps on enlarging. It keeps on enlarging. You can see sacks that have been made by the local people here. But because the water keeps meandering and the, uh, the, 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 the speed is much and the volume is also much and it still goes on within a narrow path, a very narrow path, which you can just see here. It goes through this narrow path with much force, causing a lot of challenges gets to that point also again and then meanders again before trying to join the Iberopa bridge. Now that meandering here and there has caused a lot of damages. You can see trees planted and all that but still up to no idea. Let me use this wall as an example of where the water normally reaches its, its peak here. <clears throat> so, if you look at this wall very well, you discover that when the water gets filled up, you can see, you can see the level that is from there. From there, you can see the water level. You can see the water level. You see the water level. So it is not a small problem. It's not a small problem. And that is why we are calling on the federal government. We are calling on the state government. We are calling on the uh, 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 local government to come to the aid of the people in the Goluwa quarters, uh, precisely Elijah Shifal Street. In Ubea Koko, that is opposite Adedeji Estate. The, all the water in the Karelan are coming to this area, right from Ishi to Ojaoba to everywhere. This is where the water goes to. Those people living in this house normally have to move out when rain falls. It is on this note. That we are asking for intervention. Intervention. Now you can see this gutter here. Okay, that channels water even from up. The level of water that comes from up there to is enormous. So for the people in this area, the water comes from the back to torment, and water also comes from up there to torment. And this water that comes from the back normally gets to this area it gets to this area this area precisely before stopping but with the increase in the water volume that will be coming to this area from Ikare because of the construction work that is going on 
more volume of water will be here. So we are calling on the state government, the federal government, and the local government to come to the aid of the people living in Ogolua quarters. That is uh, Elijah Shifao Street in Ube. That's opposite Adedeje Estate uh, to help uh, in ameliorating the problem. The distances, that is the 100 meters that were given by residents to the water ch uh, channel before has been eroded. The original part of the water has been closed up by the water meandering and then filling up those spaces and then charting new parts for itself close to the residence abode. Thank you very much as we expect uh, government to help and intervene. Thank you.